Canada, God's country, from sea to sea. Beautiful scripture in 2 Chronicles 7, 14. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. This is one way for our land to be healed. We will never be healed by politics. We found that out this week. It was confirmed it will never be healed by politics of any kind. We deal with wickedness in high places right behind me. Let's turn from that wickedness. Turn from it. Let's take our families. Let's take our money and join God's beautiful community. We had a beautiful foretaste of God's community the last three weeks. In case you wonder, that's what it feels like. One for another. No fear but power and love. Why do we want politics to hinder that? Why, we, why do we want them to interrupt our lives? Let's join God's human community. Let's join him. He has it for us. It's there. It's too long. It's been too long that we have been under tyranny. Too long we have been lived under this oppression. Canada is a free country. Let's turn. Let's turn from wickedness personally and collectively and let's allow God one more time to be the ruler of our country. When I heard the honking, seemed like we couldn't stop at seven minutes. When I heard the honking, I was moved to tears. Oh, I think today we got a foretaste of what it sounded like in Jericho. Let me tell you something, regardless of the outcome, God has proclaimed victory. You, listen, they might turn off the uh, centennial flame. Is that what it's called? They might turn that off. But let me tell you something, a flame has ignited in each one of us that cannot be quenched. And it's not getting worse either. It's getting better and brighter and burning higher and higher. You cannot quench what God is doing. Let's, let's be God's community. God has given us and will continue to give us leaders after his own heart. He will restore the judges as at the first. He will give us apostles, prophets, teachers, whatever we need. We are done with the corrupt system that's behind us.
For two years, they have tried to extinguish it and to rearrange it and to change it. And today we are living witness of what God intended for us to be. Welcome, welcome. God bless you. Try to put everything God, back keep together you here. safe. Let's pray. Father, we thank you so much for who you are. Lord, we thank you that you made the walls of Jericho come down. Lord, regardless of the outcome, Father, this that you have ignited cannot and will not be quenched. Lord, the whole world is standing with your community. God, the whole world wants freedom, desiring freedom. Father, bless every soul out there worldwide. Those that cannot be here this morning, be with them, dear God. Lord, deliver them and help us, oh God, to stand solid, stand firm in the liberty that you have given us. And Lord, bless our dear truckers in a very special way. Father, they pushed their way through. They showed us how to take a stand. Help us, oh God, to do no less. In Jesus' precious name, amen. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Someday right bad in Alabama, a little black boy was in black girls will be join hands with little white boys and white girls as sisters and brothers. I have a dream today. I have a dream that one day every valley shall be exalted. And every hill and mountain shall be made low. The rough places will be made plain. And the crooked places will be made straight. And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed in all flesh shall see it together. This is our hope. This is the faith that I go back to the South with. With this faith, we will be able to hew out of the mountain of despair a stone of hope. With this faith, we will be able to transform the jangling discords of our nation into a beautiful symphony of brotherhood. With this faith, we will be able to work together, to pray together, to struggle together, to go to jail together, to stand up for freedom together, knowing that we will be free one day. This will be the day, this will be the day when all of God's children will be able to sing with new meaning, my country tears of thee. Sweet land of liberty of thee I sing. Land where my fathers died, land of the pilgrim's pride. From every mountainside, let freedom ring. And if America is to be a great nation, this must become true. And so let freedom ring. From the prodigious hilltops of New Hampshire, let freedom ring. From the mighty mountains of New York, let freedom ring from the heightening Alleghenies of Pennsylvania. Let freedom ring from the snow-capped Rockies of Colorado. Let freedom ring from the curvaceous slopes of California. But not only that, let freedom ring from Stone Mountain of Georgia. Let freedom ring from Lookout Mountain of Tennessee. Let freedom ring from every hill and mole hill of Mississippi, from every mountainside. Let freedom ring and when it happens, when we allow freedom ring, when we let it ring from every village and every hamlet, from every state and every city, we will be able to speed up that day when all of God's children, black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics will be able to join hands and sing in the words of the old Negro spiritual, free at last, free at last, thank God Almighty.